Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video from AK Academy in uh, building a secure web APIs with ASP.NET Core, Identity and uh, JSON Web Tokens. In this video, we are going to implement a mail service using SendGrad service to use this uh, to use it to send emails in the in implementing the email confirmation and reset password functions. So let's get started. First of all, go to sendgrid.com and click start for free. Sendgrid almost the best service to to use to send email address. It's better than setting up your email and use uh, the SMTP service and something like this. Uh, Sendgrid from Twilio is a very re uh, reliable service and. Uh, give you as much as you need from emails you can send up to more than 100,000 emails per day depends on your business size and your needs so you can simply just create an account fill fill the fields here and create account I already created one so let's click login okay so here we go first of all the first step you should do is to go for settings and go to API keys here click on create API key full access give it a name I'm going to call it auth demo key full access create any view Okay, very nice. Here we go. Make sure to copy it immediately because you cannot show it again. So I copy it back. Don't want that. Paste it here. Very nice. So this is number one. Now before we proceed to the next step, let's go to ASP to our project. Inside services, I'm going to create a new class or an interface call it I mean service okay let's make it public and now it's going to contain a function that is task sent email async it's going to take string to Email string subject string content. This is everything we need for sending an email. The address we want to send to, the subject of the email, and the body. Okay, here we are going to create an implement for this class called public class. Send the grid mail service implement email service very nice. Thank you implement interface okay very nice. Now let's go to dependencies manage new kit packages pros I'll call it send send the grid. okay here. Here it is, send the grid, install. Okay. Now let's go back to their website. Go click on your profile here and go to setup guide. Okay, here. Start on start integrate using our web API. Choose the tab method, web API. Okay, choose C sharp from here. Very nice. So here is the full steps. Create API key, we have already done that. Uh, install the package. We did. 
Okay, now this is the whole code we need to implement the function. So going to paste it here. Very nice. Uh, for the API key first, I'm going to put it inside an app settings. I'm going to create a new variable called send grid API key. Send grid API key and paste the key over here. Okay, so we can access it via email com via com configuration here private i configuration that configuration okay so now we can access the app settings.json file from the configuration here I'm going to replace this line with configuration call send the grid API key client equals new send the grid from email address okay we are going to make the email address is test at of the model com the user is uh, the name that the user is gonna see is going to be JWT of demo okay nice the subject we are going to remove this line and do to email this plain text content we don't need this as well and this here message helper takes from to subject plain text is the content and HTML is the content so as you can see this function creates single email takes from email address to email address subject and the plain text that if you want to send just a text and here the HTML content and I think all the times you are going to use or most of the time you are going to use an HTML content so I use the same variable in two arguments okay here just async okay very nice now let's add the service to our dependency injection container in startup.cs here click on services add transient okay very good I main service send the grid main service I use the transit because I just need one object each time I wanna uh, each time uh, with each request, sorry, I don't want to use it in a specific scope or single tone, just one object here, the application lifetime. Add transit, gonna initialize an object just whenever we need or with each request. Now let's just test it. Okay, I'm going to controllers, side OS, so here when a user. Okay, I will add a private I main service main service going to inject it here main service main service so it's very nice. Okay, I'm going to send email here in uh, after the user login just for test if it succeeded going to send an email await main service that send email async to model that email subject new login 
with the content HTML here one new login to your account not the same okay and to add small paragraph and the header new login to your account add the time dot now and let's do this. okay very nice let's try it right now okay let's see what the users do we have in our system select Use of DB demo DB start from SPM users. Okay, so first I'm going to create a new account, then I'm going to then use Postman. Okay, so here register uh, it's already saved from previous sessions from body. I'm going to put my email here. Okay, so. Ah, sorry, I'm using the HTTPS which I disabled before, so okay. ah, here is our new web API URL I disabled HTTP because it is a self-signed HTTPS because it's a self-signed certificate and inside the UWP we need an additional configuration to implement that so I just disabled it, okay click send Okay, our account has been created successfully. Now, let's try to make login attempt. We can use a client here, the Windows 10 app. Debug, start new instance. Okay. Okay, so Okay, go. One, two, three. Hit login. Now, it should sends me an email. I'm going to check it. Okay, check the John here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's here. You see, very nice. I'm going to plug it in my junk. Inbox. Okay, hey, you log into your account modes. You log into your account. Okay, uh, that was everything for uh, the session. Uh, we have implemented the SendGrid mail service. We are going to depend on it in our next two functions, which is email confirmation and reset password. We are going to send the link inside uh, an email address using SendGrid. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe to stay up to date with every new video. Thank you for watching.